<clears throat> Live. All right. Shalom, Kahalal, La Yahawa Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham or Kakodash. The will honor is unto the apostles of GMS that rule well and teach well, and salutations unto the brothers and few sisters that take heed. All right. Um, today we're going to do a lesson on um, basically how the Lord is going to bring back judgment and a lot of death back on, on the earth, man. All right. Because these people today, man, they're very proud. Okay. So the Lord has certain things and, 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 and it's explainable signs and wonders, man, to the point where you people, you're going to start bugging out, you know. But uh, before we do that, I wanted to get a description of basically uh, angels, man, because pe people think angels are, are, are butt naked babies, man. You know, they, they don't know what the hell angels are. But the Lord, he, he, he has angels, which the word angels is a Greek word. It just means messenger. All right. And, um, and, and these are spiritual beings, man. You know, and they have various purposes. You have angels, that some, some that praise the Lord 24 seven, you know, you have angels that execute his uh, fierce judgment. You know, you have angels that report back to him. Not, uh, uh, um, how should I put this? Like, soft uh, entities or 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 or, or um, you know just just uh, a thing what you believe it be you know they're they're actually very terrible can be at least you know so we'll start for the first scripture this is uh judges 13 1 it says and the children of israel did evil again in the sight of yahweh and yahweh delivered them into the hand of the philistines 40 years and there was a certain man of Zerah, who the family of the uh, Danites, whose name was Manoah, and his wife was barren and bare not. And the angel of Yahweh appeared unto the woman and said unto her, Behold, now thou art barren and bearest not, but thou shalt conceive and bear a son. Um, Verse 4 says, And therefore beware, I pray thee, and drink not wine nor strong drink, and eat not any unclean thing. For lo, thou shalt conceive and bear a son, and no razor shall come on his head. For the child shall be a Nazarite unto Yahweh from the womb, and he shall begin to deliver Israel out of the hand of the Philistines. And then the woman came and told her husband, saying, A man of Yahweh, and his countenance was like the countenance of an angel of Yahweh, very terrible. But I asked him not whence he was, neither told he me his name. Trying, you know, and I got the word terrible, just to uh, get more um, understanding, which you should know what the word, word, word terrible means, but we're still going to bring it out. The word terrible in the Hebrew is Yara. Which means to fear, to revere, be afraid, to stand in awe of, be odd, to reverence, to be fearful, dreadful. So, you know, a lot of times, man, when when angels came to men and women, um, they were terrible, man. You know, they, you you just felt you not only felt the presence, you, you saw the presence. You know, you, you you all you could do was just bow down. You right. know, that's why also uh, angels they're known as cherubims. Right. You know, which the word cherubim, if I'm not mistaken, it means a, a, a mighty being. You know, something to that effect, which I can bring it out. That's really you know, that, was, that was it on that, though, in Judges. Con, I just wanted to go on. Um, those are, um, that's really their true uh, nature. You know, they come with messages, but they're really cherubims. You know, and then you have different classifications of that. There's the art on cherry bones. You have the sephirums, I believe. Yeah. Many different. Which is the, uh, they have the, so the wings, um, multiple wings. Right. Like the ones that came to uh, seraphims, the one that came to uh, the serpent, basically. Right. You know? The fiery flying serpents, that's what it means. Right. They came to uh, Isaiah, right? right. Um, I have to in etymology if you want it. Come, come. One of a class of spiritual beings, attendants and messengers of the Most High, uh, 1300 fusion of Old English and Geo 
uh, goes uh, Greek Angelo, literally messenger, envoy, one that announces in the New Testament divine messenger, which is po possibly related to Angelo's mounted uh, carrier. Says both uh, from an unknown oriental word. Uh, what can Wickens compares Sanskrit Azura swift. Um, used in scriptural translation for Hebrew, uh, Mal Alakai, what they have here, meaning Yahweh, messenger of Yahweh, from base to send, word for it was literally Aaron spirit. Mm -hmm. um, says, of persons, one who is loving, gracious, or lovely, they're going off of it here, says, by. Yeah, this you're looking up angel, right? Yeah. But there's yeah, there's it, it, Yeah. Go ahead. You say? No, go ahead, go ahead. No, I just no, it just means uh yeah, like a uh, messenger and an Angelos from the Greek, right? Yeah. And the, okay, um, um angels angels send multiple messages. Some are physical. <laughs> just like uh that example um, with King David, you know, he, he told me he had to pick the three options. Hey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can get that later. We can find it and hold it. Yeah, Khan. Uh, I'm going to bring the scripture out. This is uh, Sirach 36 in the Apocrypha and verse, um, I'm going to start at verse 6 or, or 1, select it. All right, because this is the time we're in and this is a good prayer. It says, um, it says, have mercy upon us, O Lord, power of all, and behold us, and send thy fear upon all the nations that speak not after thee. Lift up thy hand against the strange nations and let them see thy power, which these nations are going to start seeing the Lord's power, man, because he's going to he's going to be making himself known to the earth. Right. It says, verse four, as thou was sanctified in us before them. And the Lord, what is sanctified? It, it tells you the Lord is sanctified in Israel. He's whole, He's made holy. Again, back to we did a lesson was it a week or two ago about um, we're, we're we're basically the glory of the Lord on the planet. That's why when we go off, we make the Lord look bad, and He punishes us, you know. But now He's starting to deal with us more and more, or or, or with the elect starting right. It says, um, "So be thou magnified among them before us." And let them know thee, as we have known thee, that there is no power but only thou, O power. And that's going to be in the kingdom. They're going to know, oh, you nations are going to know that uh, there's only one power. Right. right? You're going to know that the Most High is the power. You know? And you're going to keep the laws to the best of your ability, just like we're keeping the laws to the best of our ability, which is not that good. <laughs> you know? So so, so you're, you're going to be uh, given that, that, that heart of, uh, of, of stone. Right. You know, we're gonna be given the heart of of of, uh, of, of flesh, man, of of, of, of lively. You yeah. know, we're gonna be uh, 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 um, our our minds are gonna be circumcised, as the scripture says. You know, um, verse five, or it's like a verse six, and this is the point: show new signs and make other strange wonders, man. So the Lord is gonna start doing all these uh, crazy things, man. And 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 for a while, you 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 people, you're gonna call it fake, or you're gonna try to. Uh, explain it or rationalize it with your so-called science and whatnot, you know, but it's going to get to a point where you people are just going to bug out, you know, and you, and you can see these people, they're already bugging out. These people don't know what the hell's going on, man. They're just walking, shopping, shop till you drop and doing all kinds of folly, man. Talking about, oh, in the summer, I'm going to Caravan, I'm, well, I'm going here, I'm going to this boat cruise, I'm going, I bought tickets to this concert in October. People are crazy, man. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it says, um, for the same verse, verse six, glorify thy hand and thy right arm, that they may set forth thy wondrous works. Verse seven, raise up indignation, which means righteous anger, and pour out wrath. Take away the adversary and destroy the enemy. And the Lord, he's, he's getting ready to do that, man. You know, he's getting ready to pour it as wrath. And part of his wrath is the angels, these powers, man. You know, it says, verse nine, let him that escapeth be consumed by the rage of the fire. And let them that perish, like it, and let them perish that oppress the people. And which people? Israel. And who's oppressing them? First and foremost, Esau. Right? Um, 
It says, verse 10, smite and sunder the heads of the rulers of the heathen that say there is none other but we. <laughs> yeah. You know, and that's it's sort of the Rothschilds. And it's funny too, I'm laughing because uh, this, this, this scripture from, I think, verse 7 or 6, is uh, if you listen to an old uh, song by Killer Priest, who was, uh, he was, um, he knew about the Israelite, he knew he was an Israelite, and he was part of, uh, I believe, Apostle Bahar's camp back in the day. But uh, at the end of one of his songs, I forget which one, he, he read like from, uh, from verse 6 to like verse uh, 11, which I'm going to read next. Right? Verse, verse 11, it says, Gather all the tribes of Jacob together and inherit thou them as from the beginning. And the Lord is doing that, man. He's gathering, uh, he, he's sealing up the breaches, man. The breaches meaning when we were together under King David and we were 12 tribes of Israel, you know, uh, uh, then King Solomon came. And after King Solomon, he had his two sons, which the kingdom split. Mm. You know, the 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 the, the, the two kingdoms split because I'm because I'm wicked ass. The two sons, really, you know, and um, and the breaches was basically you had uh, Ephraim in the north and Judah in the south, and and and, and the breach was basically that that division, right. you know, and even within those kingdoms, you have breaches, man. You have you have tribes not liking each other. But the Lord, he's 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 getting he's building it up right now, right? Verse twelve. Oh Lord, have mercy upon the people that is called by thy name, and upon Israel whom thou hast named thy firstborn. All right. Verse thirteen. Oh, be merciful unto Jerusalem, thy holy city, the place of thy rest. See, so the Lord dwells in Jerusalem. He's not dwelling there now, but His Spirit, when we were righteous, it was dwelling there. It was it was it was uh, you know dealing with us, man. All right. Verse 15. Yes, sir. Same quick, like even when King Solomon was in rule and he built the temple for the most high and they were celebrating, the chariot came down, man. You know, that comes to show you, and he, this is where my name shall be forever. So, you know, uh, you Jewish, you Jewish people, man, you you guys have a serious probably out of all all the tribes, man, you guys are gonna catch it the worst because not only are you oppressing us, you're in land man doing abominable things like you says over here in america doing abominable things, but you're in the most as actual favorite land doing the worst of the worst you know Come well, well it says um i'm like is the first of the nations right so he's gonna catch the most hell too you know um verse um verse 13 it's like a verse 14 Fill zion with thine unspeakable oracles and thy people with thy glory Right, and uh, that was really it. So, uh, Yatin? Yeah. <clears throat> really going into the Most High, right? And and because you're talking about destruction coming to this place, and he's sending, uh, you know, the angels, and really the elect is going to be part of that angel squad, man, because when we, our bodies are changed, then we're going to have power like the angels, you know? And uh, like the last lesson, when the Most High sealed off our power because we, we were going off, you know? This is Isaiah uh, 40 and 28. It says, Has thou not known? Has thou not heard that the everlasting power, Yahweh, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainted not, neither is weary? There's no searching of his understanding. And these devils are trying to understand um, the Most High, really. They're trying to uh, take over his place, you know, trying to create all these different things. And in the process, they're destroying the earth, you know, causing havoc. It's like the story of them that destroyed the earth, man. You know, so he said the most I fainted not, man. He, the most has an everlasting power. He doesn't know what feeling tired is. Even with a power that charges everything. So Esau's own life is getting charged up, man. These angels are going to be supercharged. And then they hope like me supercharged when he bring in death upon this place in the four corners. Yo, we're going to be um uh, unrelentless juggernauts, man. Just running to and throw slain. The angels going to be running to and throw. But no, hey, imagine, right? The soldiers are running for their life and they're getting tired. You know, they're huffing and puffing. They take a breather because they're trying to hide, man. The angels, no, there won't be no, no huffing and puffing for us, man. Well, see, step back. I got a direct precept to back you up to where you, this is Psalms 40, 29. It says, he giveth power to the fleeing and to them that have no might, he increases strength. Even the, even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. 
They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. That's the spirit because I was. That's the exact same verse I brought out. <laughs> I was about to read that. That's the spirit. Mm -hmm. You know, there comes to show you, man. Also, it says he giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases strength. Now, who are the people that have no might? It's Jake. Okay, and he's gonna give. That strength onto the elect, and that that strength is spiritual power. You know, you're gonna have the you're gonna have the uh, ground troops, and uh, and the, and the military in the air, man, which is the the angels. You know, and then you're gonna have the elect, man, which is considered the ground troop, man. Most of that is all tacked it out. You know, he said, "What that blood is gonna be up to the bridle, the horse's bridle." There's, there's a lot of blood, man. It's a lot of blood. That's a lot of slaying and a lot of killing, and that's gonna be in what an hour. You know, there's if most I said that in one hour, you know, Babylon's gonna be down and up. Um, and then they even said, the youth shall faint and be rare. You know, what are, aren't youth lively? They have a lot of energy, you know, they, they run up and down, they can do whatever. But it, it, but in that day, man, even they're gonna be uh weak and they're gonna be uh helpless, they're gonna be uh looking for strength in that day, looking for some way out, man, some type of fight. You know the, the spirit to fight on but they're not going to be able to stand up to the, the men of the lord they're not going to be able to stand up to the angels okay the angels will make child's play out of all these so-called young men that join the army you know who, who are proud to be the army who think they have some type of power right now because they have a gun you know you guys are going to be a laughing stock okay it says um also and the young men shall utterly fall and the most said utterly Meaning that you're definitely gonna gonna fall down, man. You're gonna you're gonna uh, reach your limit, and you're gonna break down. It, that goes back to the scripture that says some um, men grabbing uh, their their stomachs as 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 women, man, as pregnant women. Roughly paraphrasing, you know, because of what, man? You guys, you guys are gonna be so afraid and so scared. You guys are gonna even try to plead with the angels, and the angels are gonna look at you like. Mm -mm. He's gonna cut your head off, man. He's not gonna shake his head, nothing. You're gonna feel no remorse when slaying you. And it says, But they that wait upon Yahweh shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as e eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint, man. So we're not gonna be tired. You know, we, we'll be able to make you run down the field. You know, you, you're trying to escape, run down the field, and we'll just run on the next side, lightning quick, man. You didn't even see us. Standing there waiting for you, you know, might blow you up with our eyes or something, man. Yeah, this is gonna be the Lord. This is not gonna be of us because we don't have that power, we don't have that truth, we don't have that spirit, man. And those high, when whoever those men are that 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 are gonna become the hunters, they're they're, they're gonna have a, a spirit put on them, man. Because we can't comprehend these things in these earthly earthly vessels, man. You know, we can't we can't. Uh, 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 you know, a certain amount of people in, in, in war, you kill like 20, 30 people, you start bugging out, you can bug out, you know, so the Lord has to put a spirit on us, man, this is not of us, it's not, we're not going to rise up in, in guns or, 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 or explosive or anything of that sort, man, this is going to be a completely spiritual battle, you know, that's why uh, even um, when Elijah was getting beamed up in a chariot, which I got it right here. This is Second Kings two. I'll just go straight to the point in nine, and it says, "And it came to pass when they were gone over, Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I sh what I shall do for thee before I be taken away from thee.' And Elisha said, "I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me." And he said, "Thou was ask a hard thing. Nevertheless, if thou see me when I am taken from thee, it shall be so unto thee. But if not," It shall not be so. You see, so Elisha prayed for a double portion because Elijah had a heavy spirit on him, man. He had the power to cause a, a drought in Israel that it, that it didn't rain for, for uh, I forgot how many years, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah, was, I'm saying like it was probably about two, three years, I believe. Uh, yeah, I think it was like three years. Uh, yeah. Hey, and that's coming back. That comes to show you that the Most High took all of that away. You know, just just so people to really be faithful, because they had to fulfill prophecy. 
because if men were still doing that today you know the amount of people that would believe in the most High right now would be astonishing you know you had men uh, uh pulling men up here um since you mentioned that this is uh uh you can break it down the revelation is 11 and um 11 and 3, and I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score days clothed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the most high of the earth, for the yeah. power of the earth. And that's the north and the south kingdom. There's two olive trees and uh, uh, two witnesses. Mm -hmm. Right? It's um, verse 5. And if any man will hurt them, fire proceedeth out of their mouth. And the war with their enemies, and if any man will hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. Mm. Yeah, so if you put the for elect, you know, of the most high man, you will be put to death. You know, and that's when the enemy comes in like a flood. That's when really a lot a lot of you people are gonna start dying. Because what you say, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, you'll lift up a standard. And that standard really is the judgment of death, really. Because when those men are endowed in endowed by power on high, a lot of them is gonna be killing. Uh, a lot of people, man, mainly really uh, these heathens, the majority, two thirds of our people. But you Edomites, man, because what you already defiled the land, man. You you have us in your hand. We're stolen property, you know. And then also you defiled the land by blood, right? It says these have power to shut heaven. The rain not in the days of the prophecy, and have power over waters to turn them to blood, and to smite the earth with all plagues as often as they will. So the Most is going to give the elect men power to control the wind, control the waters, man, control uh, diseases, control fire. Hey, everything you said doesn't he have that on the left hand side? He has hard to control the weather. You know, look, look what's happening right, right now, man. It's yeah. fucking mid April. And I, there's a shit ton of snow outside, man. Yeah. Hey, and that, you know, funny, man, that shit is not pleasant, you know. And even Esau didn't he not learn how to uh, use fire, man? Concentrate the fire. You have lighters, flamethrowers. He has lasers. Yeah, concentration, concentrated fire. You know, so he has all that stuff on the left hand side, but we're gonna have it on the right hand side. We're gonna be actually have bodies to that actually be able to do those all those type of things, you know. Esau has the ability again on the left hand side to create anything pretty much he wants through his machines. You know, we're gonna do that in the spirit. You know. Is that it? Yep. Um, I have that the King David. Okay, so this is uh going into really uh King David when the angel came because Esau and his churches portray angels as nice uh beings that just come and show love all the time and you know to direct you to the gate but this is this is an angel who came down okay sent by the most high this is second samuel 24 and 11 for when david was up in the morning the word of yahweh came unto the prophet gad david seer saying go and say unto david let's say to how i offer thee three things choose thee one of them that i may do it unto thee and yo, that comes to show you that the most has an austere man. He gave you three options, and he said you got to pick the three. Says so. Gad came to David and told him, and said unto him, Shall seven years of famine come unto thee in, the, in thy land, or will thou flee three months before thy enemies, while they pursue thee, or that there be three days pestilence in thy land? Now advise and see uh, what answer I shall return to him that sent me. And David said unto Gad. I am in a great strain. Let us fall into the hand of Yahweh, for his mercy are great, and let him not fall into the hand of man. So Yahweh sent pestilence upon Israel from the morning even to the time appointed, and there died of the people from Dan, even Beersheba, 70,000 men. And when the angel stretched out his hand upon Jerusalem to destroy it, Yahweh repented of him of the evil and said to the angel that destroyed the people, It is it is enough and see the angel had the power over pestilence you know he was using his sword as a pestilence you know so he's swinging that sword back and forth killing off seventy thousand men okay and he was about to destroy jerusalem it said you know it said and when the angel stretched out 
hand upon you to destroy it. He was about to destroy it. <laughs> now that goes to show you, I can't imagine what they're going to do to America because they're going to have the green light to destroy this place, man. You know, the most I said he had to, they said, what? Yahweh repented him of the evil and said to the angel that destroyed the people, it is enough. So the most I had to give the order to the angel to tell him to stop. Or that angel would have obliterated the whole entire city. It would be no Israel, man. After King David, if that angel uh, was able to actually go forth of what he was about to do. And that comes to show you, Esau, man, you guys are in a hell of a straight, man. Because the most is not going to go and hold back the destruction. What is it? The angels are already holding back the four winds. Once he gives the order to let go of those four winds, man, all hell is coming down on you, man. With no, with no holding back. You know? And that's a dangerous thing. It said, uh, stay now thy hand. And the angel of Yahweh was by the threshing place of Aruna the Jebusite. And David spake unto Yahweh. And when he saw the angel that smote the people and said, Lo, I have sinned and I have done wickedly. But these sheep, what have they done that thy hand and I pray thee be against me and against my father's house? Yeah, but the point was in verse 16, man. You know? The angels are, are real, real mighty. Uh, one angel alone can destroy this whole planet. One. And most of the city sending the whole army here. Wait, you have a <laughs> Like, <laughs> uh, I'll never stop saying it, man. Overkill. 9,999. That's the overkill, man. Other, other and instant death. You know? <laughs> That's basically what to send all types of fear and everything onto you. Hey, do you have uh, another precept? Yeah, I had uh, Psalms, um, Psalm 78 and uh, 42. And these, these these powers, they have fun, man. Like you said, they, they were they were about to tear shit up. They were, they were having fun, man. You know, these beings that, that the Lord creates, they, they don't, they don't, they're not sorrowful when they get their order. Right. You know? Um, before I bring out that, I'll bring out this. This is Sirach 39 and 28. Which says, uh, there there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them, which is who the Lord. That's right. right? Uh, verse 29, it says, fire and hail. What's happening outside? There's hail. <laughs> right? And, and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. Right, and teeth of God. Yep. Who has the power over those type of elements? The angels do. This is not saying. Um, it says in Psalms, Salak here. Can I just get this precept real quick? Mm -hmm. The Psalms, uh, seventy-eight, I believe, and forty-nine. And it's oh yeah, I was on that. That's the one I was on. Oh, that's that's how you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I have it right here. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. it says verse thirty. It says teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment, and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. So these spirits are walking around. They're waiting, man. You know when you see when you see a violent crash on the highway. That was the angel, man. You know when you, when you see uh, someone getting shot or because the teeth of wild beasts and and, and, the, and and the scorpions, that's modern day bullets, man. Right. You know? Um, it says, and when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. Yeah, when it comes to when the most like gives an order to kill somebody, they're not going to think it. Like, you know, when you see those movies, when someone with those soldiers or police are about to shoot somebody, like um the movie Titan, right? The guy ordered the army um to kill the 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 man that they created to be like superhuman the and his wife and his kids and the army was a to, and then the man said nah i'm not gonna do it man and the army didn't do it well guess what this army as soon as the most i like, give the order they're not, they're not gonna second guess it's like but my lord it's a child they're just gonna swing no no hesitation man that's the power that you're dealing with you're dealing with an army that won't second guess their power that won't question their power as soon as their power says this, that's it. You know? That's what you're dealing with, the power of Israel. You, I'll read uh, Psalm 78. I'll start at 42, though. Come on. 
when it says, they remembered not his hand, nor the day when he delivered them from the enemy, how he had wrought his signs in Egypt, which he's going to get get ready to uh, uh, make new signs in modern day Egypt, which is America, right? And his wonders in the field of Zoan, um, and had turned their rivers into blood and their floods that they could not drink. He, he sent diverse sorts of flies among them, which devoured them, and frogs which destroyed them. He gave also their increase unto the caterpillar and labor unto the locust. He destroyed their vine, their vines with hail, and their sycamore trees with frost. <laughs> hey, hey, and, and then Canada just got that. Yo, mm -hmm. I just got that. You know how much of the farmer's crops got destroyed from between yesterday and today? Mm -hmm. Springtime is supposed to be bloomy, and that comes and busts up your uh, parade. You know? That's right. Um, verse um, verse 48, he gave up their cattle also to hail, to the hail, <laughs> and, their <fl> <laughs> and their flocks to hunt thunderbolts. Hey, 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 you know, there was, a, there was a, a, a notification, man, about dares and all that stuff, man, that dropped dead by thunderbolts over 200 strikes. So that show you, man, that, that's Yabashi Mishai killing off uh, these, these farmers' cattle. You know, in their in their herds and their sheep or whatever, man. And you can check, just type it in YouTube. You know, uh, thunderbolts hitting farm animals or whatever, man. You'll see it. You know, that comes to show you that these scriptures are alive, man. And the Most High is bringing that all back again, man. All these plagues are coming back to Egypt, all right? It says, um, verse forty nine. He cast up, he cast upon them the fierceness of his anger wrath and indignation and trouble by sending evil angels among you so those, those play you know uh, the frost the hail the thunderbolt the fire the earth yeah, that sounds just lucky that sounds like uh crazy evil angels right you never heard that in your church yeah ask your pastor evil angels <laughs> yeah because they do the ones that they call evil angels are what they actually call demons man mm -hmm. because those demons are actual angels on the left hand side and truly they're really not evil Yep. Oh, the righteous because they're doing what they're created to do. Um, do what you're created to do. <laughs> you're actually being righteous, man, in your setup. So, but the thing is with these angels, what they do is they bring bad times. That's why they're called evil angels because evil, right? Eve, time, ill, bad, bad times, man. All right. These are the angels that will come and fuck your shit up, tear your shit apart. Hey, when you see a tornado come and, and mow down. A whole neighborhood. What do you think that was? That was an angel. You, know, you mean you see the earthquake comes, you see sinkholes uh devour a whole road and cars get sunk in and buildings. What do you think that was? That was an angel. Okay, and you're reading the description of what, what type of power these angels have in Psalm 78. You know, that hail, man, that that thunder, the the locusts, the frogs, the uh water into blood. Those are all angels doing these things. Right. It says on uh, verse fifty, he made a way to his anger. He spared not from death over to the pestilence, and smote all the firstborn in Egypt, the chief of their strength in the tabernacles of Ham, but made his own people to go forth like sheep and guided them in the wilderness like a flock. Yeah. It. Due to his anger, he spread. He spared not their souls from death, and that's exactly what. Hey, can you give me um? Second Ezra uh, uh, fifteen twenty four real quick. He brought that up. He said he made a way through his anger. He spared not their souls from death, and that's what's coming. Mosai declared that again that he's not going to spare the uh, any souls from death that has been against him. If you've been part of the world, you're against him. Going back to James four and four, man, you're an enemy. And Mosai doesn't spare enemies because when he sent uh, the children of Israel to go to war, right? Uh, he always said to, to completely destroy them, man. Utterly destroy them. You know, what did he say to Saul? Kill off all Amalek. And, and Saul, didn't, Saul didn't kill off the king. You know, because if the Mosa says spare none, man, you're supposed to spare none. The Mosa doesn't spare enemies. All right? Unless the unless the only the only reason why you're being spared is to fulfill prophecy. Okay? But Mosa, when Mosa takes out a target, he wipes out that target. All right. And right now the target is, is uh, 
two-thirds. Like it, it, write down the targets of you two-thirds and the heathen nations for whom you learn and worship and follow. Okay, that's the target. And he said he's not going to spare any of your souls from death. Right? So like, this is Second Maccabees, uh, uh, Slakia, uh, Second Ezra 15 and 24, which says, Woe to them that sin and keep not my commandments, saith the Lord. I will not spare them. Go your way, ye children, from the power to follow not my sanctuary. Right? It says, Yep. What? It says, uh, for the Lord knoweth all them that sin against him, and therefore delivereth he them unto death and destruction. Or even said, even told Ezra, man, he said, For them that sin, which is you Israelites, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you two thirds, says, And keep not my commandments, saith Yahweh. Right? It says, I will not spare them. Go your way, ye children, from the power. It says, Defile not my sanctuary. So the Mosai is not going to spare you in this time around. All right, the second go around, okay, that ark, okay, the, the second uh, delivery from Egypt, the most I said, he's not going to spare you. This is for Yahweh knows all them that sin against him. So you can't go and hide. You can't go and say you're in this thing and then worship it. And, you know, Esau in the dark or these other nations, religion in the dark. And expect the most not to, he created you. He already put you in your lot. Okay, he knows all the lots. He put the elect in a lot. He put two thirds in a lot. But he's heathens in a lot. Everything is in a lot, man. So you can't go against the most high. Okay? It says, um, it says, For you have known all them that sin against him, and therefore delivered he them unto death and destruction. You guys being in a high position, all of you in a good job, making good money, man, that, that worship, uh, you know, that try to uh, worship uh, uh, Satan and do sacrifices, man. You know, you you only you're only getting your 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 time now because your ending result is death and destruction. That's your ending result. That is your reward. All right. This is um. I had a gone. This is a uh, second Maccabees uh, three and twenty four, but it says now as he was there present himself with his guard about the treasury, the Lord of Spirits. The prince of all power caused a great apparition, so that all that presumed to come in with him were astonished at the power of the Most High, and fainted, and were sore afraid. For there appeared unto them an horse with a terrible rider upon him, and adorned with a very fair covering, and he ran fiercely and smote and smote at Heliodorus with his forefeet, and it seemed that he that sat upon the horse had complete harness of gold. Moreover, two other young men appeared before him, notable in strength, excellent in beauty, and fully in apparel, who stood by him on either side, and scourged him continually, and gave him many sore stripes. <laughs> the angels were beating your ass, man. The angels were beating his ass, and that's what the most is going to make you do again, man. Give you sore stripes, man. You can do it in multiple ways, man. You're already, he's already doing it with cancers, man, high blood pressures, you know, HIVs. You know, those are those are sore stripes, man. Uh, making your life a living in hell, man, work, a woman, whatever the case may be. You know, those are those are those are the sore stripes. You know, and he's only gonna increase it. Right? It says in verse 27, the Hilodorus fell suddenly into the ground and was compassed with great darkness, but they that were with him took him up and put him into a litter. Thus him that lately came with a great train and with all his guard into the said treasury, they carried out, being unable to help himself with his weapons. And, and manifestly, they acknowledged the power of the Most High. And these are dirty as Greeks, man. Right. You know, so, so they, they had no choice but to acknowledge. And that's, what, that's what's coming for you people, man. You know, um, verse 29. For he by the hand of the Most High was cast down and lay speechless without all hope of life. That's <laughs> coming. Yeah, <laughs> you say, yo, at that time they said, no, all, not all hope of life, man. That's what's going to come back. A lot of people are going to have no hope of life. You're going to be like, what? Like, We're finished, man. Hey, isn't that not happening now? But, you know, you have our people, they have no hope of life right now through Esau. You don't, they always believe that Esau is going to kill them, 
or, or take him out. So the Muslim is going to do that when he comes in, man. You know, but it's going to be worse because you'll definitely have no hope. What are you going to just say and do the spiritual power? Like what? What are you, you going to say when an angel is in front of you floating <laughs> and you're seeing all the light? And, I, I, I couldn't imagine what an angel looks like, man. Shit. So, okay. Go ahead. It says verse 30. They praise the Lord that have miraculously honored his own place for the temple, which a little afore was full of fear and trouble, when the Almighty Lord appeared, was filled with joy and gladness. Then straightways certain of Heliodorus's friends prayed Onias that he would call upon the Most High, which Onias, I believe that was the high priest at the time, that he would call upon the Most High to grant him his life, <laughs> who, lay, who lay ready to give up the ghost. <laughs> Hey, that's gonna be your modern day pastors, man. <laughs> pastors are gonna start doing them prayers, man, and throwing them up. Please, God, God please save my life. Da, 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 da. Me meanwhile, you guys are starting to get a mini heart attack, man. You know, <laughs> that's funny. I this is verse 32. So the high priest, suspecting lest the king should misconceive that some treachery had been done to Heliodorus by the Jews, offered a sacrifice for the health of the man. Now, as the high priest was making a, an atonement, the same young men, or the same young men in the same clothing, appeared and stood beside Heliodorus, saying, "Give Onias the high priest great thanks, in so much as for his sake the Lord has granted thee life." <laughs> so you see that the angels are not an order, man. The, the angels they do exactly the bidding of the Lord, man. You know. No plea deal. Because at that same time that, that that sacrifice went up, the Lord got it, and he and he telepathically told the angels, "Okay, that's enough," you know. And then and then they told him, "Doors, you better, you better be thankful, boy." <laughs> we were about to give you the business. <laughs> it says, um, "It says verse thirty-four, and seeing that thou hast been scourged from heaven, declare unto all men the mighty power of the Most High." And when they had spoken these words, they feared no more. So Heliodorus, after he had offered sacrifice unto the Lord and made great vows unto him that had saved his life and saluted Onias, returned with his host to the king. Then testified he to all men uh, the works of the great power, which he had seen with his eyes. And when the king asked Heliodorus who might be a fit man to be set yet once <laughs> again to Jerusalem, he said, if thou hast any enemy or traitor, send him thither. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. It says, and thou shalt receive him well scourged. <laughs> Yo, that's what you said, man. It wasn't a game. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> it says, if, if he escaped with his life, for in that place, no doubt, no doubt, there is an especial power of, of the Most High. For he that dwelleth in heaven hath his eye on that place and defendeth it, and he beateth and destroyeth them that come to hurt it. And, and who is that? Israel. Okay? The Most does it not say Israel is the apple of his eye, and Israel is a people for its place. Okay? Most is ever watching us, man. And whoever, and whoever hurts us, man, you're going to get the judgment. You guys thought that bashing us up, man, pressing us, we're gonna get away scot free, but no. It got goes back to Amos nine and eight, where it says the most high eyes are on the sinful kingdom. Okay, most is watching y'all, man. He's watching us and he's watching you do what you do to us. And he's just waiting until the time to give you the sentence. You know when um police, right? They're about to uh knock down mil uh million dollars off uh, uh drug dealers, they don't go and try and get their first like 20,000 that they make, the 30,000, they wait until it stacks up to a certain amount of charges so they can put. Yeah, they get indictment for you. They wait, they wait for you to do more crimes so they can catch you. Right, so they can indict you as as much as possible. Well, just He's making your charges stack up, making you do it so he can hit you with everything as much as possible. At one go. You know? Right, that was it. That was it. We can close it with that. All right, so with that, we want to say call up. The blinders of the apostles of GMS who rule well. All right, and salutations unto your brothers and your sisters that, that take heed. Shalom to you and Kwame Shrala. And Abad Babal. Babal Babal.
Shalom.